Okay. So, hello. My name is Lyric Lewis, and tonight we are discussing the other queen of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. The queen that was scheming, thieving, thriving, and surviving off of stealing her way from the bottom to the what? To the top. The other queen of Egypt. So our story begins in 51 BC. We're in Alexandria, the capital of Egypt, and Cleopatra has just turned 18. She's like, Cleopatra's coming at you. She's fresh, she's young, she's supple, she's like, I'm looking fabulous and fly, and she marries her brother Ptolemy. I'm sorry, marries? Yes. It wasn't weird for them. They were like, we gonna be blood on blood on blood, stacks on stacks on stacks, chicken racks on racks on racks. <laughs> So now she's the queen, but their little sister are sent away. She's like super butthurt about it. Like she's like, yo, I know that I'm 11, but really, I can't be mother queen. Nobody asked me if y'all could get married. So boo to that, boo to that. She's a sneaky, thieving ass, thriving tween. And she had a eunuch that was just like her homeboy. Ganymedes was in the shadows at all times. Like you would only see like a sliver of his face come out the corner, and he'd be like, dogs, that's what we do in Egypt. Dogs. Dogs. So now at this point, Julius Caesar is kicking ass, taking names all over the Mediterranean. Like Julius Caesar's like, what's poppin'? I what I take it over. Cleopatra's into that. Like she's like, I'm feeling this. And so she's like, hey, Ptolemy, husband, brother, we should like link up with Rome. Hardcore, parkour. Like Cleopatra's like, yo, we should with Rome. Hard as She's like, Rome. It's f***able. Ptolemy is like, I'm not feeling this. We're not gonna link up with Rome, that's it. Boom, roasted. Cleopatra is like very upset, right? But Arsino is ear hustling all throughout the castle. She goes to her brother, Ptolemy. She's like, yo, I know I'm 11, but peep this. I'm not f***ing with Julius Caesar either. I don't think Egypt should link up. A matter of fact, you should check your wife because she's trying to, like, she's not even listening to you, dude. Like, she's like, you the husband, and she not listening, right? So Ptolemy goes to Cleopatra, and he's like, yo, I sent away, came to me, told me she not f***ing with it. She put some wisdom in my head, told me I shouldn't f*** with it, so we not going to do it. And not only that, I'm gonna banish you from Alexandria. So Cleopatra's like, excuse me? Like, you gonna come for my, like, what? So Cleopatra now was pissed at. I sent away, it came for her throne. She is set on getting revenge on her little sister. So. Mm. Cheers. So, Cleopatra's banished. And so I sent away, she's like, I'm cute now, bitch. I'm queen of Egypt. Just so happens at the same time, Julius Caesar happens to make a trip to Alexandria. And he was like, what's poppin' Egypt? So Cleopatra said to herself, she was like, self, I can either arrange a regular meeting with this man or I can get him the Egyptian way. So she crept in his room in the middle of the night and gives him the Egyptian business right there in that hotel room. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now that's a pyramid scheme. She was like, oh, you gonna be reading from the Book of the Dead after this, cause you gonna be what? Dead and gone. Like an Egyptian. <laughs> he was like, oh, this is some new shit. Like he was like, girl, what is you doing to my body? She's like, just some Egyptian shit. Don't worry about none of that. That's what's happening to your whole body right now, right? He like fell for her after that one night. And so Cleopatra was like, I know we just met and I gave you the business immediately. My bad. However, my brother told me, banish me. Because why? Because I wanted to f with you and I need help to get my throne back. And Caesar was like, say no more, girl. You put that Egyptian ass on me. It's a done deal. Let's go invade some shit, yes? And she's like, yes, bitch, go get my throne back. So Julius Caesar invades Alexandria, right? Like, it's like a whole bunch of Romans and shit. And Ptolemy is kept as a political prisoner. But then Arsinoe narrowly escapes the palace with her eunuch. Ganymedes goes, yo, they invaded the castle. Let's do this. Bitch. So they escape from Alexandria, right? They go to the Ed rebel Egyptian army. And the leader of that army is Ach Ach Achilles. By the way, which also Achilles to me just sounds succulent. You know what I mean? Hmm. He sounds like a succulent man, but I'll continue. As in, doesn't need water? <laughs> Shit, sure. <laughs> but, anyways, Achilles, he's like, damn, that's a little ass girl. And she's like, hey, 
I might be 11 and a half to 12 years old, but I'm fucking fierce. We need to reinvade Alexandria, take back my throne because, yo, I'm the true queen of Egypt. Okay, my sister's not the fucking queen. She's just some bitch on the throne. Achilles is like, no, bitch. We don't know you like that, first of all. Second of all, you're mad young. He's like, you're 11.5 or 12 years old. <laughs> he goes, we not here for this mother like, good night. So then th this little shit, the granddad, I sent away, I told you it was off the chain. So she's like, oh no? Oh no, you not gonna f with me? So then I sent away, he turns to the enemy and he goes, yo, kill this little f And he did. And he killed him in some great Egyptian fashion. And he assassinates him in cold blood. It's crazy. Ganymedes goes, yo, she told me to kill him. I killed him. Don't worry about it. And Ganymedes says to all of us, don't worry about it. Don't ask him about it. So he, we don't. <laughs> and he's dead. So then, um, I forgot her name. I remember the, the past two hours. Arsene Wayne? I've never done the story. So in the story, I'm very embarrassed. <laughs> High five. It's fine. I sent away, takes the army, and goes to back to our Alexandria. And she's like, I'm gonna take this shit over. And Julius Caesar's like, bitch. No, you're not, but she's like, yes, I am, bitch. So she forced him to flee. She runs him into the light tower of the pharaohs, which is the seventh wonder of the world. And so Caesar's pissed at this point because he's like, I'm f***ing Julius Caesar. Like, he's like, I conquered the Mediterranean, and this girl is about to, like, run me. What? What is this? She's 11 and a half or 12. He's mad. Like, he's surrounded by the army and the sea. He is literally no way out. So he's like, f Like, either I'm going to go out there and get killed as f or I'm going to jump out this window and be drowned as f and hopefully swim and live. He strips himself of his armor and his purple cloak. Purple cloak is iconic in Greece. People know it as Julius Caesar. And he jumps and splashes into the water. Arsene comes up, takes his cloak and like waves his cloak as like a victory flag. Like, yes, bitch. Caesar finds the boat that is waiting for him. And he's like, damn, she's very buck. She nucks if she bucks all the time. So then Ptolemy meets with Caesar and he's like, I'll make a deal with you. My little sister is walling out. She's very ratchet. I will give you her if you give me my freedom. She's just like, all right, dude, I'll take it. With a sneaky look on his face, right? Mm -hmm. So then Ptolemy goes to our away, and he's like, hey, girl, hey. And she's like, Ptolemy, like, yo. And then Caesar is like, ah, our away is captured, right? And Caesar's like, psych, Romans, kill him. So he's like, Oh, and this motherfucker right here, what a bad friend. But he runs to the Nile River and he drowns. Oof. So he dies anyway. Really anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so then Caesar has Arsene away. He's so fucking happy because she has embarrassed him. And that's mm. how fragile his male ego was. Cleopatra's mad, but she's like, yo. <sighs> she's like, yo, like she's like, yo. Take her little ass to Rome. I'm done. So Caesar tries to parade her sin away through Rome and the Colosseum. His plan is to fucking strangle her. And Rome is like, we're not fucking with you fucking with this little girl. And Caesar's like, I want to strangle the fuck out of her in the middle of the street. Everybody in the Colosseum was like, you're whack. You're whack. And so Caesar is like, fine, just get the fuck out of my face. So Caesar being embarrassed, he sends her to Artemis' temple to live her life, life as a priestess. So we fast forward to 41 BC, Cleopatra is still mad. She thinks that her sister will render her. So Cleopatra <laughs> says, oh. she sends assassins and she's like, yo, go kill my little sister that is like 21. And the assassins go. And they strangle um, Arsinome, Arsinome. And she dies. Wow. Yeah.
This girl was 11 and overthrew Julius Caesar. At 11, she outsmarted Julius Caesar. I think that's fascinating. More of a story, don't sleep on your siblings. Does that mean don't f your brother? And that too, don't f your brother either. It's a good that should be a given. It should be. Oh my God! 